there are more and more reports about pushbacks on the Croatian border and also of police and um, Croatian soldiers pushing back very aggressively refugees. Uh, how is it possible that this is taking place in your country? We've been faced uh, with uh, such a comments and uh, on each of them we provided with a uh, uh, wide answer uh, in which we denied uh, uh, all these accusations. Uh, if uh, there is uh, any sign, any uh, comment that uh, Croatian police might uh, act uh, uh, improperly, we already in each case uh, provided uh, internal investigations. So, I'm sure, uh, and I want to assure you that uh, Croatia police is uh, uh, the first police who protect the external border of the European Union on the Western Balkan route, uh, and uh, it uh, it uh, do, uh, does it uh, in accordance with the European law, the Schengen law, and with the national law. So that's the reason. Uh, that uh, Croatia uh, recently fulfilled all criteria to enter uh, uh, Schengen zone. And uh, uh, as a minister, I could uh, say that uh, my fellow colleagues uh, and this council has always uh, raised the issue that uh, Croatia is very effective in, in this regard. You were saying you have an internal investigation. Can you elaborate a little bit more on your investigation? What so, uh, you know, uh, most of these, uh, uh, or if you want, uh, uh, more or less all of them, all these accusations come from the uh, migrant population. All their uh, uh, comments are made in Bosnia and Herzegovina, not in Croatia. Uh, but uh, we uh, are doing uh, our best to see where it happened, who uh, were involved, uh, and uh, it was uh, uh, impossible because uh, without uh, any concrete uh, direction uh, how to investigate such a case, uh, uh, it is uh, 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 the issue that we uh, and Croatian police could not find uh, uh, evidence uh, of uh, improper uh, behavior. So uh, you have to uh, you, you have to understand that uh, uh, the, this uh, population, migrant population, they are passing for I don't know 1,000, 2,000 miles, and there is. Uh, external border between uh, European border between Croatia and Bosnia and Herzegovina on which they have first experienced that there is a country, there is an institution who protect uh, its borders. Nothing uh, is uh, uh, happening, for example, on the border crossings. Uh, those uh, uh, members uh, or uh, people who uh, uh, in the group of migrants, they do not use official border crossings, but instead they using uh, fields, uh, uh, forests, uh, which are just a few miles uh, far from the official border crossings, uh, and they are trying to enter Croatia without any ID. Uh, so if uh, they want to apply for international protection. There is always a way to come uh, on the border crossing and uh, to express your wish. Uh, instead, we have a situation that we are implying very strict rules how to enter European Union on the border crossings, which is uh, these uh, rules are implying on regular citizens including EU citizens. And all this, what you are talking about, is uh, happening a few miles uh, far from the official border crossings. My question is, if you want, and if you think that uh, you deserve international protection, why don't come to the border crossing? Why you are organized uh, on some camps like uh, Bushia camp uh, in Bosnia Herzegovina and trying illegally to enter on the territory of 
European Union, in this case of territory of Croatia. You're completely correct, but we have heard that the policemen take off the shoes and jackets of the migrants and, and, and they beat them. Is this also... No one provided uh, Croatian police or even uh, anyone uh, uh, who is uh, interested in this with the, any concrete evidence. That's the truth. Okay, so you have no evidence. There are pictures now, there's films and pictures from people. All pictures uh, taken somewhere uh, out of Croatia. And uh, we were uh, in uh, several occasions accused that we uh, uh, separate father from uh, the daughter. Uh, it was a year ago. And it was very huge pressure on Croatian institution, on Croatian police. Uh, we were under attack by uh, different uh, uh, addresses from Croatia and also uh, out of Croatia. And after one year of uh, thorough investigation, we found, uh, with the help of uh, uh, police in Lebanon, that this young girl never left Lebanon. So this is uh, what we are facing, uh, but uh, as uh, we said uh, many times in public, and uh, I will repeat this, there is a law and uh, we have uh, to do our job according to law. It is not allowing to enter the uh, territory of any country in the world through the forest with the hiding IDs and uh, uh, breaching the, the all existing international norms. And there are more migrants coming. Is Croatia considering asking Frontex for support, maybe? No. Uh, we, are, uh, we have uh, one of the strongest uh, border police in Europe, uh, and uh, we have enough capacity to protect uh, our borders from any illegal activities, uh, including uh, smuggling of network, uh, smuggling networks uh, um, for smuggling migrants, uh, which is a growing concern. But uh, uh, I will tell you that uh, in last year, we, our police, uh, arrested almost 1,000 smugglers uh, who tried illegally to help uh, migrants to cross the uh, Croatian border. This is how the state act uh, in protecting its borders and uh, improved borders control is one of the priority of the new commission uh, Croatian presidency and all EU institutions thank okay. you thank you